Nope, nothing in the oven. Gotta keep on going down this way. Oh, we need that. You can come call him for a quest. The heck? What happened to this guy? We'll take you at 32. Ooh, we got quantum out of that. There was a quantum in that machine. Shut up. Well, we should have done is shot this. And that, them things right here explode. You can use them against in enemies. The fire extinguishers. Watch, I'll shoot one here in a minute. Let's get back a little bit more. Watch, they explode. They do good damage to you. Uh, any first aid kits in here? Ooh, what's in the garbage? We'll take the pack of cigs. Hopefully they have a first aid kit. Nope. So I didn't like those cigarettes. I think that's everything. Let's go talk to the ghouls. you look at that? We got us a smooth skin visitor. Ooh we We ain't seen one of your type in a long time. Smooth skin? What does that mean? Smooth skin? You know, because your skin is so smooth and tasty. Relax, I'm just kidding. But I had you going, didn't I? Where am I? You're in Underworld, Smooth Skin. It's the only safe place for we ghouls in D.C. We're here out of sight and out of mind. The mutants leave us alone, and the slavers usually don't come this far into the city, so it's not bad. Really, the Brotherhood of Steel is the only thing we have to worry about. So long as we don't leave Underworld, that is. The Brotherhood of Steel. What's your beef with them? Bastards. They don't seem to be able to tell us apart from the super mutants. Or maybe they just don't care. They see us and shoot on sight. At least they have the common courtesy to miss most of the time. Still, bigots. A city full of ghouls, huh? That's right. As long as you don't bother us, we won't bother you. Feel free to come and go, trade, sleep, whatever. Just make sure that you leave whatever trouble is following you at the door. Because we don't want it. So enjoy your stay, smooth skin. Oh, right. I'm going to have a look around. Enjoy your stay. Just try and keep from shooting up the place. We got a nice little deal going on down here. We'd like to keep it nice. Uh, can you repair my things? Can you pay me? Then I can repair your stuff. Twenty-four. It's the highest one I've seen so far. What can you tell me about Underwood? We were driven underground, um, almost fifty years ago now. Between the super mutants, the beasts, and you crazy humans, it's not safe up there. The beasts? So we stay down here, out of sight and out of trouble. We get a few smooth skins every so often, but most of us don't trust them. You're not going to give us more reasons not to be trusting, are you? Mm. 
Me? I keep every hunk of old rusted pre-war garbage around here in operating condition. We've got lights, water, and ventilation all running off the old crap they used to keep this place going for the tourists. I've managed to keep it going so far, but, well, I'm not sure how long I can keep it up. Why? What's wrong? We've scavenged just about all the scrap metal from all the places we can safely get to. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Hell, not before long I'm gonna have to disassemble poor old Cerberus for parts. Hey, you get around, don't you? Tell you what, you bring me back any scrap metal you find out there, and I'll trade you whatever I can. We can work out a trade. We've got some stuff around here that we don't need, but a smooth skin like you might make use of it. What sort of payment are you talking about? Well, we got stim packs, but the dock keeps us healed up so we don't really need them. So I could trade one of those for five bits of scrap metal. We also got us a ton of Radaway and Radex. I mean, what good is it to us? But I'll trade you either one for five bits of scrap. Your choice. I think I can help you out. Well, all right. That's good to hear, stranger. Just come on back to me when you've gathered some scrap metal. You'll find it just about anywhere. On junked robots, in old buildings, you name it. Oh, good. The vents are rattling again. I need to get up there and take care of it. What do you have? Yeah, I know he called you babe. Called me babe. Hi there. Fellow three takes forever to be. Actually, never mind. I want to trade any scrap. What's our deal again? For it. Let me know if you have any of that scrap metal to sell. If I forgot to say hello to anyone here, I'm sorry about it. Welcome, visitor. What the heck? What kind of statue is that? What's going on? <coughs> Don't cough on me. Good to s Oh, a human. Well, hello. Welcome to Underworld Outfitters. It's... it's been so long since I had a customer. What do you do with the money you make down here? Well, we spend it at Carol's or the Ninth Circle. But I don't like it there. The rest we give to Quinn to trade for stuff we need whenever he goes out. Do you know anything about Underworld? Well, yeah, there's a lot of old pamphlets and stuff down here. I've pretty much read it all. Where was this place before the ghouls moved? It used to be part of the Museum of History. The exhibit that used to be here was focused on what happens after death. Hell and whatnot. A lot of it was focused on this old book called Paradise Lost. It's about a guy who goes to hell. Pretty interesting stuff. I found a big box of copies of the book in one of the back rooms. Here, take one. Nobody around here wants them. Oh, Paradise Lost book. How did all the ghouls end up here? At first it was just a couple of people after the war. This was one of the only places that wasn't falling down or on fire after the bombs fell. I think that Carol is actually one of the few that were here then. But over the years word got around. There would have been ghouls living in little pockets all around. Not really so much anymore. Hello. Most of them either went feral or ended up here. I'm sure there are still a few out there. But anyone with any sense is in Underworld. Isn't it dangerous being this deep into the city? Not really. The super mutants leave us alone. I guess whatever they do that turns people like them doesn't work on us. The Brotherhood of Steel will fire on us if we're out in the open, but they don't bother us down here. We've had some raiders and slavers poke their heads in, but we've got Sharon and Cerberus and everyone else to take care of them. I guess when it comes down to it, being this far out of everyone's way is a good deal for us. That's all I need to know. Come back and Take a look. It all works. 
Yeah, they got radiation suits. Another satisfied customer. Okay, let's put that one combat with the other one I got. Got plenty of everything else. Uh, one of these people give you a. Oh, why, hello there. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Quinn. What? What? You're not going to tell me how how rare it is to see a human in underwear? Me? No, not at all. I'm used to your people. Truth is, I spend most of my time away from Underworld. Nice to meet you, Quinn. You too, stranger. I know a lot of people around here don't take kindly to humans wandering around, but I've met a lot of your people in my travels. Is the Lincoln Moore around here if somehow? Wait a minute, I need a cough. I'm gonna unplug the thing, meet the thing. So there's a Lincoln Mall around here somewhere. Yeah, just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. I have to go now. Yeah, see ya. I think it's in the... Uh, I... Bar that I'm looking for. Chop shop. Oh yeah, there's a quest in here too. About the chick over there. Evening. Dr. Barrows at your service. What brings you to the chop shop? Come to lend me a hand, I hope. I can always use fresh human samples. What do you mean by fresh human samples? You haven't heard? I'm the foremost authority on ghoul evolution. I want to know what makes us tick. Something doomed us to this rotting form, and I aim to discover what it is. So, I need samples of human skin, organs, and other parts to make the experiments valid. Sorry, I am to keep all my samples to myself. Pity. Well then, what can I do for you? Oh, I forgot we had to look yeah. at the go first. Then. I'm afraid she's going to be out for there we a go. while. She's not well at all. Don't worry though. I'm sure the rest of Riley's Rangers will show up soon and take her home. Valley Rangers. Oh, you must be new around here. They're a mercenary company that bases itself out of the DC ruins. I'm assuming she's their leader, Riley. What was left of her armor had her name stenciled on it. She was in a pretty bad way when they found her outside Underworld. I would really like to speak to this woman. Please wake her up now. Oh, very well. I'll do what I can. I just hope her body can withstand the strain. Humans are so fragile. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get another quest. Plus you get good armor out of this. Oh, she's up. What? Where am I? What happened? How long have I been out? Not long, unfortunately. Right. Can't remember what I was doing. Wait! Oh, shit! My men! My team! What happened to them? I don't think you're in the, any condition to be up and about. That's not the way I do things. Do you have any idea what it would do to my reputation if word got around that Riley of Riley's Rangers was laid up in a hospital bed? My apologies, I didn't know who you were. That's okay, kid. Don't sweat it. The Wasteland's a big place. We're Guns for Hire, the best Merc group in the Capital Wasteland. If you need something done in there, you seek us out. 